Oh, Central formed in 1832, so it's been around a good long while. A staple in downtown Fayetteville and in the UMC community. It's the largest United Methodist Church in Arkansas. But that title might go away because it's being separated into three congregations. Yeah, so Central signed an amicable separation agreement uh, a few days ago. We reached out to the Arkansas Conference of the United Methodist Church about this. Bishop Laura Merrill sent us this statement that reads, quote, I'm grateful that church members and leadership have been willing to work together to pursue futures for various faith communities in Fayetteville. Three churches. Central Church will remain affiliated with the UMC, while Genesis Church off MOK in Fayetteville will become its own independent non-denominational church. There will also be another non-denominational church named Christ Church. The, the new church will launch in June. Uh, it'll be initially launching out of the Fayetteville Town Center where services will be held until sometime in the fall. They hope to have the location ready by the end of the year. And over the next two years, Central will give Christ Church a $500,000 contribution. But the, the root of it is that we have different viewpoints on biblical interpretation. And, uh, and so the churches are going to go to, to become part of what they believe will better align them with their understanding of the Bible. Swan says he isn't saying anyone is wrong. But it's like going to Baskin Robbins. You can, the, all 31 flavors are wonderful, uh, but some people prefer vanilla and some prefer Rocky Road and you know, others prefer you know, pralines and cream. It's just different flavors. We are excited for refreshed leadership and intentional openness to revival at Central United Methodist Church in Fayetteville. The rest of the UMC statement reads, Our hope is that God will bless this separation in a way that uh, each church that, that's birthed from it will continue to thrive and impact the kingdom. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Michael Wilson, 5 News.